I think Martinez is going straight upwards. Um, you know, I'll just describe it what I saw tonight. One, two, three, first inning, pretty sharp with his fastball. Second inning, uh, missed a location with a fastball and gave up that two-run homer. Uh, third inning, um, had to get an extra out, you know, um, and got two outs and, and uh, hung the slider to freeze. Fourth inning was one, two, three. Fifth inning, um, I thought it was big. He hit Trout and then um, got Pujols to fly out and got the big double play from Kendrick. And then that sixth inning was huge for his development. I mean, he needs to go back out there in that inning and have a good inning, and he did. He went out there and got a 1-2-3 inning. I saw nothing but positive tonight. He made a couple bad pitches in some big situations, uh, but for the most part, pretty strong. You talked about wanting to get a feel and a gauge for where you are with a lot of guys going into next season. When you look at where Neftali is, obviously the save opportunities have, haven't been there, but what have you seen from him when he has gotten into games? Well, I think lately he's he's more confident in what he's w with his arm, I think. Um, you know, tonight was pretty impressive for me. 96, 97, didn't look like he was holding anything back tonight. Um, I think he was trying to make a statement there at the end there with with Albert, and he did a good job with that. And uh, you know, I'm I'm pretty pretty uh, enthusiastic about where he's headed. The Angels didn't appear too happy that Trout got hit twice. What was your feeling on the whole it, thing? Just baseball, you know. Um, just trying to pitch him in because that's what we have to do. And you know, we just played baseball after that, and that's the way it goes. On the Calhoun fly ball, that when Leonis goes into the slide, does his head kind of bob and he loses sight of the ball? Yeah, I think it's one of those plays where, you know, I don't, I don't know if he needed to slide or not. Um, you know, he decided he had to, and when you do that, um, when the ball's still up in the air, sometimes you, you, your head stays or your head drops and the ball stays, and, and you have a chance of missing the ball. Yeah, uh, you've got Martinez, Tepish. Michaelis, a bunch of guys who could be in the mix for spring training. Is there a is there a clear front runner, or are they all neck and neck? How would you describe that? I, well, I think all three of them are developing quite well. Um, you know, I, th I think Nick uh, Tepish has made some strides. Um, he, you know, he's headed in the right direction too. Um, Nick Martinez tonight kind of kind of made another step towards proving that he deserves a chance. Um, you know, uh, Michael Miles is the wild card for me, just because this is the most innings he's ever thrown. Um, he's the he's the youngest starting arm out of the three, um, and he's you know as Mike Maddox describes him, he's a blank slate. You know, he wants to learn, he wants to hear what what he needs to do. He's he's like, okay, I'll try that, and he can do it. So, um, I think it's a good problem to have. You know, we've we've had a tough season but it's given us an opportunity to see some guys and build some uh build some guys you know arm strength and and durability and and now we're going to know if we have some guys that can back up some of the other starters tim uh as far as defensively for leonis is, is the miscommunication disconcerting this late in the year or is it to be ex expected with a rookie or no i you know he's he's Leonis is Leonis. He's he's doing what he he wants to catch every single ball, um, you know. And I you know that whole play right there. Michael was calling it, and Leonis called it late, and you know didn't give Michael a chance to get out of the way. It it happens out there, um, you know. The first thing Leonis said when he came in the dugout, I screwed it up, and for me that that's a big step. He coming in the dugout and t taking you know the blame for what happened. So. You know, it worked out. Michael caught the ball, so um, an out's an out for me. Anything else? Bob? Can you talk about the maturation of Leonis as a leadoff hitter? I mean, he's in a, in a pretty good uh, groove right now, and it uh, looks like he's uh, making some strides in that leadoff spot. Yeah, I, I just think he's kind of relaxed when, uh, you know, I told him he's just going to play every day and he's going to lead off. And uh, you can see he's kind of just, you know, his shoulders kind of relaxed, and he, he, he's he's taken the challenge of that. And uh, he's still got to grow. He's still got a lot to do, but his bats have been a lot better.